Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Rice Jr. in particular is basketball here. Uh, last week or the last time I recorded, I did a drill on a snatchback move. And uh, for whatever reason, the audio went out about five minutes into the video. So I really wanted to make sure that I did another video because I had some comments uh, of people who, have, who, who support me that say, man, great video, but I didn't enjoy the voiceover. So I brought uh, Manny who's doing the video and I got Mike again. Who, we're gonna go over this again. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about the snatchback. We're gonna talk about two versions or two footwork uh, strategies uh, to apply to the snatchback. And then we're gonna also talk about one, um, a counter or maybe a, a, a two counters to the snatch back. So let's get right into it. We want to make sure that we're getting into the body of the defender as always, right? So we'll start from there. So how do you get past anybody? You're always going to attack their foot. So attack the foot, get the pin down, and then you want the body action. So that if I'm if I get an open stance, you see the same thing. He can't get this foot to this foot. That's fine, but it's at least going in the direction of my body, right? He's definitely not adjusting his body so that he's going out here. If he's going out here, I can easily cut him off. But if, my, but if, the, but if Mike attacked me in a straight line, now I got to make a decision. Can I get over there and cut him off, or do I body him? And if I just try to body him, it, it, it's, it's probably not going to work. So if I try to cut him off, that's where all the magic happens. That's where I, as I'm trying to cut him off, and I'm coming over here, that's when he starts doing his snatchback move, and he puts himself in position to create separation to either get off the shot or separation so he can survey the floor, all right? So now, just real quick, if I give him this foot work, same thing. He's attacking this foot right here, he's, I'm done. His foot is next to my foot, he's got me pinned down, his shoulder's going into me. Now the only thing I can do is try to beat him to the spot, and when I try to beat him to the spot, that's when he stops on the dime and he creates the score, all right? So, let's talk about Mike's step back. Mike's gonna do, we call the James Harden uh, step back, right? With a James Harden approach. What Mike's gonna do is, once he does his step back, he's gonna let the ball bounce and start retreating as the ball's in the air. As the ball's in the air, he's gonna start retreating so that he's able to get three to four steps in without, without travel, right? As he's retreating and getting away and getting up his shot, he's gonna get about three to four steps in as the ball's in the air. Watch the magic. Uh, we're gonna go this way, so let's go this way. Let's go, let's go. go this way, yeah, this way, you're short this way. All right, here we go. So you can see the preview. That was a preview. I'm just making sure that Mike was doing the drill in a way that you can see the footwork and also the ball work. All right? So let's go. So it looks like, so somebody else, so let's say, let's say a, a older person, an older person who saw, seen the game a certain way might say, oh, he's traveling, he's traveling. And they say that a lot about James Harden. But here's the thing. Your two steps start after you've gathered the ball. So as soon as the ball, so when I'm going here, one. So once I collect the ball, that's when my step count counts. That's when my step count starts. But as the ball's in the air, I can manipulate my feet however I want. Same thing. As long as this basketball, as long as my hand's on top of this basketball and I haven't gathered, I can play around my feet. Let's do it again. So that's, this, is, this is why this is a, a good move, because if you have three-point range and you can and you got a hard drive, if you get a guy going full speed and you know how to use those feet to create separation, man, you can go from 15 feet all the way back to what's the, three, what's the top of the three ball? 19, 20? I don't know. Anyway, you can go from 15 feet to the cop to the college three and get that separation, all right? Now, Mike's he's he's look, he looking real good going one way. We gotta see if he good, looks as good going the other way. It's the same footwork. So now Mike's going this way, driving hard. Don't forget that. So now with that drill, when you're going this way, it's easy. So when I'm going, when I'm going left, when I go left and I snatch back. When I'm going left and I snatch back, it's a little tougher because as you can see, my right side of my body is away from the basket. So now when I go here, now I have to gather, I have to gather, get my hips swivel in to get myself lined up. When I go left, I'm sorry, when I go right, now my right side of my body 
is lined up with the hoop, and this becomes like the easier version. All right, let's do that one more time. Which one's more? Right side. Here we go. Here, slash back, he sat. Right? Nice work, nice work. You did a pretty, you did a very good job. So just keep in mind that with, so in order for me to do this move, I'm going, and I want to always body this body the defender, not hand, not put my forearm on him. I want to body him. Once I body him, I move him off my body, right, with my shoulder. Then as the ball is dropping, I take those steps backwards, and now I should have enough space to now get the shot. And here, here's a little bonus, bonus feature. If you do it, if the guy comes running at you like he's crazy, you can do two things. The first one, shot fake, draw the foul. The second one, Hezzy, show him, the, show him the shot and then go by it, okay? Here we go. So that's the go by, and then the second one is, just draw the foul. Just shot fake, and then shot fake and just draw the foul. <laughs> All right, and the reason why that's important is once you start realizing that your defender, the tendencies of your defender, you can manipulate your defender to give you uh, opportunities to get easy buckets at the basket and uh, basically take the defense out of rotation. Now we're going to watch Manny do the snatch back with the side step. Uh, this is the reason why we did it. Oh, I just start, I just start going. You ready? Yeah. So now you have to know what your range is. You have to know what your limitations are or what your, um, what's the word? You have to know what you can do as a basketball player for your team. And you, you gotta be in sync with the coach, right? So if you're doing that step back move and the coach doesn't want, she wants you taking, you know, catch and shoot threes, then you gotta be very, you, know, you shouldn't be doing this move. But if you are a ball player where you're a ball handler, you can't shoot the three ball, you know your range. And there are certain situations where it's better to shoot uh, a three uh, on a step back as opposed to a contested two in certain situations, then you wanna, you, this is a good move for you, okay? So now we're gonna talk about a situation where you're doing your snatch back, but there's, there's a lot of traffic on the floor. So let's talk about this. Say for instance, Manny's driving me down the floor, right? But the action, you can move around a little bit, Mike. The action doesn't happen till we get right here. So now you can see that Manny's about, a eh, little, maybe about, 14 feet away from the basket. If he does a step back, there's no way he's long enough to get back there. He's not Giannis, he's not KD, right? There's no way you're gonna be able to get back there. But you still wanna get the separation. So now we do a side step, right? So this, let's look at it. Actually, it's probably more of a crossover step, if anything. So let's go over here. So Manny does the same thing. He's gonna take me down. Now, instead of going back, you see where Manny's going? He looks like he's about to go in, in the direction of the camera. So now Manny's gonna take this step, gather, and then shoot. Let's look at it full speed. One, two. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So now, why would we do this move? Well, again, if I'm too low and I can't step back, this is gonna end up being a long two. Coaches get mad at that these days because of the analytics and whatnot. So when I make this move, instead of going back, I may wanna stay around the 15, 14 foot area. So as I do this move, now I go over here, now I've basically created separation, and I've also put my defender in a tough spot because if I've been used to going back for a step back jumper as a defender, now I'm going here, and my defender's, my, my offensive player's going from here, and now he's going this way. So now I gotta stop from here, and I gotta retreat this way, which is gonna open this up for some counters a little bit later. So let's look at it again. Yep. So as you can see, as you can see, I'm over here at this block, Manny finished at the opposite block. And that's how that move can help you out. Or maybe, let's say in this situation, let me go the other way. Freeze. So let's say for instance right here, there's help over here. So now I'm the defender right there, but there's help. So if he steps back, this defender is not the one getting by him. Your initial defender got body, but I have the ability now to go contest, especially if it's a 5 4 3 2 1 situation, and I know I can sell out on the play because you're going to shoot no matter what. So, this is the way we can use our footwork to, to, to get away from not only our initial defender, but also the help side defender. So, we're going to do that same move. 
My help is coming. Now he's separated. He's at the free throw line shooting a free throw shot. All because he used his footwork to cross over his body and go from one side of the floor to the other side of the floor. Now, here I am, over here, bumping into my help side defender while you're shooting a shot all by yourself. Now let's talk about the con. Oh, well, let's go back to this footwork. So this, all we're doing now is, uh, which way is the best way to go? Let's go this way. All we're doing now is, he's taking me up, he's taking me this way, and now he's crossing his foot over. So he's going here, and instead of going back, he's going here, He's crossing his foot across his body, and then he's going for a shot. Something to be mindful of, when you cross over, your body is going toward the sideline. So when you shoot, you got to get low, and you're still not going to be square. Your right foot is still going to be not in scoring position. Now you got to jump up. And now you got to, I used to call it back when I was young, that's called the Kobe leg, or the Tracy McGrady leg, because they were notorious for kicking that foot out. It was to draw fouls, but it also was to get you in the line with the basket to square up. You square up in the air. Some people square up on the ground, some people square up in the air. So now when I go here, that gets me in the line so I can knock the shot down. Now let's talk about the counters. I'm gonna have you do one counter, and then I'm gonna have Mike do one counter so we can get some more, some more air time, some more, uh, some more screen time. Go ahead. All right, so Mark. now, here is the progression. Here's the progression. And again, Marvin, what situations would I do these moves? Well, it all depends on your green light. Once again, it all depends on your green light. If your team is a guard-heavy team and the coach allows the guards to create, knock yourself out. If for whatever reason you're an old-school team and you got bigs that demand the ball, eh, you may want to be careful. But again, in 5 4 3 2 one situations, and you're going against a lengthy defender, a big defender, you gotta have, you gotta have a nice, you gotta have a bag. You gotta have a bag that you can go to to pull things out. And this is not something that I would give a steady, I wouldn't give a steady diet of this stuff to anybody because they'll they'll figure you out. But you gotta be able to hold this stuff, uh, withhold this stuff, and then kind of let it let it let it show it at the right moment so that you can get what you need in terms of getting up shots. All right. So now we're gonna work off that crossover stuff. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pin my defender down and I'm going. Now, let me go the other way. So now, I'm, I'm pinning my defender down, I'm going, I'm bumping him off. Now, I cross over, he's coming back after me. So I show the basketball, I freeze him with my hesitation, and then I take off again, and I'm going to the cup, all right? Here we go. Manny's gonna do it, because Manny's in much better physical condition than I am. Here we go. All right, so again, one, you, your hand okay? Yeah. So if I see him do that once, maybe twice, now I know based upon his role on the team and based upon the shots that he takes, I know he's not going to go back. Now, Michael may go all the way back to the three-point line. Manny may be a more of a, a mid-range guy, right? So when he does that move, I'm trying to stop myself from going back too far I want to press up early when I see you do that move so I can get back into the shot. But as you see me pressing up, that's when you hesitate, show me the shot, show me the move, and then you go again. Let's go one more time. Let's go again on the other side. Make sure, make sure, make sure we get in this action right here. Make sure we get in this action right here. That's, that's really big. You really want to show because that footwork is going to eventually translate to some more, another move later on. All right? You going this way? Mm -mm. Yep. Got him. Mm -mm. Good job. Nice work. All right? So now Mike's going to show you the progression or the counter to that move. But it all started back from the snatch back. All right, so Let's now go. Mike's going to take me for the ride. Let's go this way. He's going to take me for the ride. Snatch back. I'm, I'm still up on him because I know what he likes to do. I know, I know his game. So now... Normally I was being beat. Normally I was over here, but this time I'm still connected to him. So now he's going doing his move. Now he shows me his move. Now I'm thinking, I got it. He's gonna go by me. He's gonna try to go by me again, but I'm in good defensive position. I'm between him and the rim. I got it, all right? So he pins me down, body, sidestep again. Now you turn a good defensive player who's, who knows their progressions, who knows tendencies, Who's, who's anticipating, 
you turn them into a, you turn it into a situation where they say, good defense, better offense. All right, let's see what happens. Yep. Wait. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Now, you saw Mike, I don't know if you saw where he finished. Mike finished somewhere over here, okay? So that's not, a, that's not a bad shot from an analytics standpoint. This is a 15 footer, maybe 16 footer. He's definitely not finishing way over here, right? But if the defender is gonna take away the, this, and he hits and ends up over here, it's not a terrible shot. Again, the analytics will say, we only want threes and shots at the basket, but the reality is you can't, if you only got a, if you only giving the defender two, two shots to guard, they can, they can figure that out. Maybe that's why the Houston Rockets are struggling so much. All right? So you want to give your, your defender a, a, a balanced diet so that they don't know what's coming and they got to guard multiple shots. Now we got to go the other way. Shot to a step back. So it went from it went from this shot where he drove and sidestep to he drove this time and got back to a 15 foot. So it's a lot of different ways that after we go here, I can end up over here, or I can finish back here. Alright? Two main things I want to I want to uh, talk about and I'll let you guys go. How would I do this drill? I would, I would spend five minutes on one progression, or maybe five minutes on, on all the progressions, but I would spend five minutes on one side where all I do is do the footwork, drive, snatch back, shot, right? Then I do it on the other side, because I want to make sure that I can use my left hand or my right foot to create scoring opportunities for me, all right? So when you're going to jump, if you just do it once or twice, that's not good enough. You can't take the Kobe, the Kobe route and say, I'm going to do it until. Right? And you decide what until means. Or, again, you could do my route is, I want to spend five minutes on this side, five minutes on this side, and I'm going to make that a healthy part of my workout until I'm comfortable and until I can start doing it in games and against competition. Here's the other thing. I love all the elusive moves. I love all the elusive moves. Man, these, some of these, these guys, bro, they got all types of moves and it's sweet. It's, it's, it's awesome. But the reality is, it's only two guys in the league that play like that, Kimba and Kyrie. I don't know anybody else who plays like that, right? You're going against guys who are long, athletic, strong, fast, quick, got incredible instincts. You ain't got time for all that stuff, right? So you got to do a strong move that gets you into their body so that you can hopefully create some sort of look. If, come on, Mike. All I really want to do is pin you down and body to the basket. That's all I want to do. Now, the only now if, I, if I'm successful, the only way you can stop it is if you cut cross me up. If you cross, come on the other side of my body. If you come on the other side of my body, now I'm changing directions, right? It sounds cool to have all of this in your game. <laughs> that's how, it, look, that's cool. But at some point, the ref is going to start blowing their whistle. At some point. A team is going to be an a, a underdog, and you're going against a heavyweight. And at some point, the only way you're going to force your hand on the game is to go into a defender's body, to go straight line action, to, 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 bear, to, to body somebody, right? And force the, the, the defender to either open up the gate and let you through, or force this ref to call a foul on this dude, call a blocking violation, all right? That's it, man. Uh, snatch back, two ways we can get into it, crossover step. Or we could James Harden, you know, retreat and then uh, get your shots up. Particularly this basketball more drills to come.